Welcome to another In Wheel Time podcast, a 30-minute mini version of the In Wheel Time car show that airs live every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central. Oops. Pardon me? I said oops. Viewed by millions around the globe, it's the In Wheel Time car talk show. Just ahead, Hot Rod Tour co-founder Jeremy Taylor. And the Crossroad Car Club in Victoria, Texas. We're going to talk to him. Now, of course, he is part of the Hot Rod Tour of Texas, but this is the car club in Victoria. Mm -hmm. We'll figure all that out. Jeff has, uh, no, Jeff had this week's cruising calendar. Yep. I got some more stories making automotive news headlines today. Today's show sponsored by Meekum Auctions Houston. 2024 show ends today, so hurry on down to NRG Center. Howdy along with Mike out of this world, Mars. We always need this guy, more Jeff Zekin. Mm -hmm. I'm Don Armstrong, just for now anyway. (laughs) I'll go by something else (laughs) later on today. So it's uh, great to have you with us. Last half hour of our show on our live broadcast, 1031 on a Saturday morning. Let's go live down to Victoria, Texas. Jeremy Taylor is down there. And uh, Jeremy, a good morning to you again, sir. It's good to see good you. Good morning. Long time. I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, we... we well, we've already talked about the Hot Rod Tour, but just to right. reiterate, the tour is sold out. They're not ex- accepting any more entries, uh, almost 350 cars. That's plenty. I got it. It's good. Uh, we're going to be on the tour with you guys, and that's coming up uh, two weeks away, mm-hmm. actually, a couple of weeks away. Yep. Very so, exciting. Look, yeah, very exciting. And uh, thank you all for the custom mugs. And uh, so who made the mugs? Uh, Sabra. Sabra made the, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So, at any rate, so now let's talk about the Crossroads Crossroads Car Club. Yeah. And uh, so, go ahead. And so, uh, currently, I'm I'm, uh, the president for the uh, Crossroads Cruisers. We're out of Victoria, Texas. Uh, We started in uh, 1999, it was created. Uh, The name came from Victoria's considered the Crossroads. We were between Houston, Corpus, San Antonio, Austin are all about an hour and a half, two hours from all of them. Yeah. That's where the name came from. And we're a charitable organization. Uh, we do some fundraisers uh, and give back to local charities. Very nice. Where are you right now? Actually, we're at River Rod. <laughs> we're in New Brussels right now. Yeah. That, not, that, did the car club go up there? Uh, there's, a, there's a group of us, yes. There's a group of you. So some some of you are from up there. Well, that's a good shot. Yeah, so right. there there are some of you from the car club that are up there. Yeah, about about nine of us came up here. Okay. Now, are is the same nine going to be on the uh, hot rod tour with us? Uh, probably. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think all, all of us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just a coincidence that several members help us with the hot rod tour. So. So I, I'm I'm gathering that the entire community of Victoria down there, is everybody rod. is a member of something or another, all to do with cars. It's either the Hot Rod Tour of Texas or the Crossroads Cruisers. Or the orchestra. Or the orchestra. Yeah. yeah. All right. Because we're going to have the uh, Victoria, is it the symphony? Victoria Symphony, yeah. Victoria, Victoria Symphony. symphony. We'd be jamming, man. 16 member. Jeff, you know, is a drummer, yeah, so he I'll, I'll he can sit it. in on the symphony Absolutely. with the drums. Absolutely. Just thought we we just volunteer it. It's okay. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that sitting in your lap? Uh, this is this is my sidekick, Henry. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Our our youngest club yeah. member. Yeah. <laughs> youngest club member. Yeah. He, I got he's a feel- always here with me. I got a <laughs> feeling he's been drug along to things that he really doesn't want yeah. to be drug along. Do I to. have to really go? No, he begs to go. <laughs> well, it's interesting because, uh, you know, I have two girls. I have two daughters. And so <clears throat> um, I drug them to every car event that I went to. Ask them. They'll tell you, yes, some of them I liked. Other ones weren't all that yeah. great. There was kind of that kind of thing. But, you know, they are. They're still yeah, he's, special. He's and the, only gay. Yeah. How old? There was a time where I was the youngest club member, but then I got replaced. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. And how old are you? Do I, can I ask? Uh, I, I'm 28. 28. I joined when I was 25 or no, 24. 
what wow. I'm doing. So yeah. been in love for about four years. Very nice. Okay, so um, so when do you? I mean, the cruisers. So do you guys have regular cruises that you go on? Cruise ins, car shows, what? Uh, it, uh, we there's a pretty good group of us that travel to different car shows uh, within usually within two or three hours uh, from Victoria. So uh, we also. Uh, Different club members will set up some cruises on occasion. Uh, we'll go to little country stores uh, for Morales when it was open. Uh, we'll go eat lunch there. We'll, we've uh, take some back rows, hit different spots. Um, then let's see. Yeah, we'll do uh, oh, yeah, like the Christmas. next town over. Uh, they do a big Christmas lights over in Cuero. So we'll do a, a Christmas cruise over there, go through the Christmas lights and uh, – and that's about what, about forty five minutes at least through driving through the lights, and then we'll go eat dinner after that. Interesting. A lot of eating. A lot of eating. There's a lot of eating, lot going, of eating on, going on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. always. I, th- I'm hosting, I I'm think one in this June. is this is just a suggestion that I'm going to throw out there because I'm that different kind of guy. I'm I'm the weirdo <laughs> of all of them. Um, I'm thinking of maybe about a Christmas lights cruise in July or August. <laughs> what the fuck's on the so? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, so so you, you wherever it is that you go, there's usually a one area of town that everybody puts up lights. Hey, so let's do it again in July. The Hallmark Channel well, has Christmas it, in July. It's, 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 it serves a couple of purposes. Mm-hmm. You could have the fireworks, uh, yeah. clearly, but you'd never have to take the Christmas lights down. Yeah. You'd have it twice yeah, a year and just turn go. them on in, in the 4th of July and then Turn them off, obviously, and yeah. then wait for yeah. yeah. And then when you know Thanksgiving rolls around, there you go. They're all set, Plug ready to in. go. Yeah. And you can have another cruise. Go to see them again. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. My Tourette's, I guess, is acting up. I, I'm not exactly sure. The Hallmark's got a Christmas in July on the Hallmark Channel. We could be part of that. Well, we yeah, and I'm I'm thinking we could invite the Hallmark Channel on down yeah for uh, the Hot Rod Tour and uh, the Crossroads Cruisers. Good deal. I know. <laughs> Look, you know, this is an entertaining car show that we do here. So you have to yeah. understand that we we try to entertain, and not only do we try to entertain our viewers and listeners, but we also but try other, to entertain you guys other, on yeah. that end too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I noticed that there's one person uh, amongst you that doesn't have a beard. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's getting there. He's is he work on got it. a little fuzz going? <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right. So, um, so I guess, you know, you guys need to have a cruise up this way. It's only an hour and a half. Yeah, well, sure. from Victoria, yeah. it's only an hour and a half, for God's sakes. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to do that. Definitely have to do that. Uh-huh. Actually, I think someone's wanting to try to set something up. Tell you the truth. Well, you know, you, what you need to, you need to make a trip whenever we're going to be out at the Hemi Hideout. That, that's, that's what that's we're the talking one. about. Yeah. yeah, we have a member that wants to uh, work on trying to do a cruise up there. Well, well um, you're yeah. the connection. We, we've got the connections, and so uh, uh, I'll tell you what. Next time I find out that they're going to have another open house, they have quite frequently i mean mm-hmm. how how much how much leeway how much lead time do you need uh, as soon as we find out we'll announce it yeah i mean a month yeah. a month is good at least sometimes right. we do short notice <laughs> yeah so what what uh what kind of cars do you guys cruise in uh oh, it's, it's a pretty pretty wide variety everything from we have cars from the 30s and 30s hot rod uh all the way up to brand new Super brand State. New yeah. yeah. Oh, it's C8. C8. Yeah. C8, yeah. We've got a uh, big up, you name it. We've got like, I think, <laughs> what is it, about eight <laughs> members with C8s now? Wow. At least. See, I was looking yeah. for something along the lines of like a 1970 <laughs> Lincoln Continental. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something we got big. Cougar uh, Eliminator. Regional, like an 85 Monte Carlo SS. And, yeah. Uh, kind of fun stuff. Uh, we got a few Mustangs. <laughs> and uh, let's see, what else do we have? <laughs> Several different pickups. A uh, few <laughs> Bel Airs. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's going to be the that's going to be the style. Who's got the Who's got the the, the vehicle with the bomb on the back of it? 
Oh, that'd be Bobby. Yeah. Bobby's got bomb. the bomber. Yeah. Bobby's got the bomb. Yeah, during the tour, he drives the Hetzel. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, yeah. Well, who, who drives the bomb car? That'd be Bobby. Well, you can't drive both of them at the same time. No, he can't. That's why you only see one at a time. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm thinking that uh, you know one of us could fill in. Well, I'm sure he'll let that happen. Yeah, he'll make it happen. Because yeah, we've bombed a lot. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, <laughs> this, yeah, exactly. All right, gents. Well, it's great to talk to you guys. Uh, it's the Crossroads Cruisers, Victoria, Texas, and what? Yeah. I was just going to say he said that there's eight C8 Corvettes. Yeah, Victoria members. It must be a lot bigger than what I think it is. Well, the members are from all over, too. We've got about 80 something members. Yeah, well, actually, currently. we're 96 members right now. 96. Wow. And uh, we actually have a car show coming up on April 20th. Yep. Uh, that's the uh, week after next. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called the Father's Night Out, uh, which is on Father's Day weekend, but it uh, used to be. It used to be. It used to be. But the name is stuck. But uh, it's a fundraiser that we do. That's the fundraiser where we get funds to donate to local charities. Is it a cruise in or a cruise? Uh, no, it's just a, it's just a it's regular just, car show. Yeah, it's a regular car show. Yeah, we, we do judging and awards. Okay, it's a judge. Gotcha. Top 30, and then we'll have best paint, best interior, best engine, best engine, best of show, and then the kid's choice. So. Gotcha. Wow, sounds like fun. So I guess that uh, – we can go online. You have a presence on uh, register, social media. Uh, it's day of registration, so just come on down and register. And you're good to go. And where can we get more information on that? Uh, the Crossroads Cruisers uh, Facebook page. It's all uh, I needed. Yep. And, that, and I say, I, I assume that it's Crossroads Cruisers on Facebook. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yes sir. There you go. Yes, we are. You'll see our club logo. That we're actually underneath our our club canopy right now with our logo all over it. So, yeah. well, I'll be looking for you later on this afternoon. Sure. All right, <laughs> Jeremy Taylor and guests. Thank you all very much. It's great to talk to you, Jeremy. We'll see you in three weeks. All right, good talking to you too. Sounds we'll good. see you. All right, all right boys. Thank you. <laughs> They're always got something going. Man, they got a lot of I stuff know. going on. You know, <clears throat> I'm thinking. Maybe we should originate the show from down there, and all of us just travel down to Victoria every weekend. I, you don't have a problem with that, do you, Mars? <laughs> you get you get what, what you, time? What time? What time? Of the hours? What time are we going to start? You eight, will eight, never eight, sleep at eight o'clock. Mm. It'd take you three hours to get there. Uh, Two and a half. Least. Yeah. Right. Well, it's a thought. They were pointing out it's a that bad thought. you got to go to the logo. They're sitting underneath their logo. Well, we've got a new logo up here too. We yeah. do. We kind of rearranged the studio. Yeah. If you, if, I'm sure that you've noticed. If, if by you, now, yeah, by now. <laughs> so uh, over here, this is our new logo. Mars went out and bought a TV screen. We there plugged a we we plugged a, a little thumb drive in it, and look at that. But Instant we're on the logo. other side of the studio. We flipped the size that we're on. Yes, we did. There, we, this we, was we, the side that nobody we didn't, saw. Yeah, we didn't think that you would really enjoy looking at the window air conditioning unit that's no. in here. And they really, the only way to do it was do it this way. So that's, here we are. Here we, here we are. Here we and we thank you for joining us. Um, let's take a quick break. Then this we're, one. Yes, we're going to take that break. Thank you, Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. All right. So after a quick break. We'll be right back here on the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Pro-Am Auto Accessories has been serving Houston's auto enthusiasts since 1984, providing world-class products for sports cars, European sedans, and American muscle. Pro-Am is known as the place to go to find exclusive and hard-to-find parts and accessories. Pro-Am is one of the very first distributors in the USA for brands such as Recaro, Redline, Momo, Corbo, and Simpson. Located in the heart of Houston's premier retail and service corridor, the Galleria area, Pro-Am's walk-in storefront includes an 8,000-square-foot warehouse, showroom, and installation bays. Pro-Am not only sells parts and accessories, but also offers installation and service. Pro-Am is now reaching a worldwide audience through ProAm.com, taking its local reputation to the rest of the world. At Pro-Am Auto, you'll be dealing with a small group of professionals who truly want to help you with your automotive needs. If you don't see what you're looking for on the website, call and Pro-Am will lend you a hand. Pro-Am Auto, 6125 Richmond at Green Ridge and Houston's Galleria area. Call them at 713-781-7755. Want to feel good about something special you did for someone special? 
In Real Time and the original Lupi Tortilla group of Tex-Mex restaurants have joined together to help a very worthy cause, God's Garage, a Christian-based 501c3 charity. We know there are lots of places and organizations out there where you can donate a car, truck, or SUV. But we're asking you, our car enthusiast family, to consider donating to God's Garage. Visit GodsGarage.org and learn about its mission, the women that have been helped, how each one is screened, and about their Restore You program. A car donation is an easy way to make a difference in the lives of others. God's Garage needs good operating vehicles, but will take all types in working and non-working condition. Make your heart and soul feel good by donating your gently used vehicle and help support single mothers, widows, and wives of deployed military at GodsGarage.org. Mecham Auctions, the world's largest collector car auction company, returns to Houston, Texas. April 4th through the 6th at NRG Center. Featuring 1,000 muscle cars, Corvettes, trucks, customs, and more. Broadcast on Motor Trend TV and streaming live on Max. From avid collectors to those new to the Mecham experience, we welcome everyone. Register to bid now at Mecham.com. Welcome back to the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. By the way, our show is available 24-7, if you dare, through the <laughs> iHeartRadio app. Just look for In Wheel Time Car Talk podcasts on your favorite podcast provider. We also video stream our three-hour weekly show on Facebook, YouTube, and InWheelTime.com. When we get our act together this morning, we were late getting on. And uh, don't forget uh, that uh, we are also on iHeart. I mm-hmm. said that, didn't I? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, okay. well, I said it again. <laughs> okay. okay. Just, just to, to reiterate. You know what? Uh, just to let you know, we're on iHeart. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we do this thing called uh, Guess the Price on the Hemmings.com Sold Cars Roundup. Now, you can go and sign up for this thing, get it on Mondays. They, they uh, send it out on Monday. And it's about the cars that they sold online the week prior. So, we have a little fun time with that. I give them what car it is, and they guess how much money the car actually sold for. So I'm going to start with a 2001 Toyota 4Runner. Now, understand that I don't know what the condition of the car is underneath. I don't get into all of the details of it, whether it's a rust bucket or not. We're just going to go kind of across the board here, okay? Okay. Not, not a big deal. Don't think too much of it, but. Gives you an idea of what you can buy these cars for. And I thought that this one is an interesting one. A 2001 Toyota 4Runner. 2001 Toyota 4Runner. Um, silver in color, stock wheels. It looks stock. It looks clean. Looks like it doesn't hasn't been wrecked or anything like that. I don't know what the miles are on it, but it looks clean. What would you think of a 2001 Toyota 4Runner? $8,000. $8,000? i am going to go eight. Mars? No, I'm I'm going to say twelve five. Twelve five. Well, uh, Mr. Mars would win that one because the sold price is eleven thousand four hundred and forty five dollars. Okay. Yeah. How about how about a Smokey and the Bandit car, a seventy eight Pontiac Trans Am with the big, you know, black uh, with the uh, gold bird on the mm-hmm. hood, the uh, screaming chicken. Yeah, the screaming chicken. <laughs> uh, gold wheels, you know, the typical. Look, 78. The 78 Pontiac, Pontiac Trans Am. Now, I don't know whether it's an original. I don't know any of the details. This is just straight off the. 14,000. 14, really? Yeah. Oh, no. Go ahead, Mr. Mars, your guess? No, I'd have to step up to about 18. 18? How about $37,800? Oh. 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 That's but, why I picked the but, car. But we're going to be able must have owned it, it or something. Signed it or okay, something. Okay, here's one. 1965 Ford Mustang Coupe, hmm. black with a red interior. Um, it's got aftermarket wheels on it, but they fit the the look of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's 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 the car right there. You can take a look at it yourself. Oh, Looks yeah. clean. It may be a rust bucket. I don't know. But what do you think a 65 Ford Mustang would go for? I would. I, it looks like it's got the V8 logo on it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm going to say 25. 25. Uh, I'll Jeff? go, I'll go uh, 19. $23,100. Very good, Mars. You're getting pretty good at this. Yeah. Well, some of, I mean, I, yeah. All right. 
Here's one. Jeff, you should get this. This is for you. 78 Chevrolet K5 Blazer. I don't think they called it the Blazer. Then I think they just called it a K5. But <clears throat> it's the two-door, what ultimately would become the Tahoe. Mm-hmm. But this is the two-door old school, you know, remove the back end of it, uh, the, the cap on the back. And it's old school. 78 K5 Blazer. It's got the uh, cheap grill in it. Uh, it looks clean. It's maroon. Uh, I don't know what the color of the interior is. It's got those great big humongous Nobbies. camper uh, side view mirrors on oh. it. Oh, those big silver things that had the yeah. pedestal big that hung toe, out off the toe side. Mirrors. I'm going to yeah. twelve grand. Twelve grand, Mars? No, I'm going to bump twenty one. Twenty one. Mars wins again at nineteen four twenty five. Did you look at this before? No, no, no. I just, I, 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 he's on the site right I now. I look at <laughs> no. some of the vehicles I used to own. I used to have one of those and a, the Mustang, the 65 Mustang. Don't you wish you had those exactly. back? Exactly. That's the reason I kind of look at it going, dang gum, I should have kept that car. Here's an oddball. <laughs> I had to do this. This is a, now picture this in your mind, a 1997 Ford Thunderbird. But what they've done is they converted it into what looks like, uh, Ford Ranchero wagon <laughs> or, oh. or uh, uh, yeah. There Here. are companies that do that. See it right there? Yeah. Look at that thing. There are companies that yeah. do that. So this is kind of a semi-custom because they never made such a thing. A 97 Ford Thunderbird, but it's kind of like an El Camino. What do you think something I'm like that would sell? I'm seven grand. Seven grand. Mr. Mars? Did no, you, did you I, see the that's picture? pretty popular. Yeah, I'm thinking the Eldorado conversions were more popular. I'm going to say twelve. Twelve, five thousand five hundred dollars, right, Jeff. That's I yours, got one. buddy. Yay! <laughs> Yay me! Um, a 1956 Chevy Cameo. Oh, I love that's yours. those Cameos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it uh, dual headlight, single headlight? Fifty-eight. Yes. Uh, no, this is this is a single headlight. Single headlight. 56. This is a 56. Okay, okay. 56. 58, they went to the dual headlight. Yeah, yeah. Clean looking. Wide whites. It's uh, white in color, red accents, and I'm sure it's got a red interior. I think we've done this one before. Well, I, maybe so. Yeah. Maybe the guy Six, turned though, it. I, I didn't even know they made one. The 56, 56 Chevy Cameo. Remember back in the day, mm-hmm. this yeah. would be the fleet side. Uh, what would become didn't the fleet side? they have a fiberglass side. bed? I don't know about that. I think the 58 maybe did. But anyway. at any rate, it, it, it back in the day, in those days, it had the step side beds. Mm-hmm. This is a smooth side. Yeah, yeah, bed. yeah. Very rare. How much? 25. Uh, 32. $53,735. Oh. All right. <clears throat> 55 Bel Air. Two okay. door. Two door post. Uh. Post. Two door post, fifty five Chevy Bel Air, two tone, blue and white. Thirty two thousand dollars. Thirty two thousand. And uh Mars? It, so it looks like it's in good shape, restored? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm I'm gonna bump forty eight. Okay. Sold price is twenty eight eighty eight seventy five. We're way over. Well, you know, Woody told us here recently those fifty fives, those tri fives, the bottoms fell out of them things here in the last few months. He because they're that. all the people that had them are dead exactly. or dying. And the kids don't want them. Correct. Yeah. I should have remembered that. And here's one for you, Jeff. A nineteen ninety seven Dodge van. Oh. A camper van. Yeah, I can Custom see it. camper van. There it is right there. What do you think about that one? Oh man. Huh? Ah. It looks like it's all ah. stock. It's got it's got white lettered tires on it, custom chrome wheels. It looks clean. Probably got, you know, a million miles on it, but it looks what good. What year is it? It's a nineteen ninety seven Dodge. Nineteen ninety seven. Dodge. So yeah. back in nineteen ninety seven, uh thinking new, those things were getting some major dollars. Mm-hmm. The camper vans. I'm yeah. gonna say eighteen. 18? Uh, I'm going to go 12. 12? Uh, Mars wins again. Sold price $13,650. <laughs> I want to drive it, though. I'd like yeah. to drive it. Okay. Uh, we're so not going. You, now, so our, you bring it back clean. Our next, <laughs> no. uh, our next venture out of the studio is going to be uh, for the Hot Rod Tour in yeah. three weeks. Yes. It's three weeks from today. Um, so we then hope- the weekend after that, we're going to be out at Keels and Wheels. Oh, it's a do as a twofer, and maybe we may have an event the weekend after that. But 
We'll John see. Gray still hasn't got it together yet. Okay. Uh, Haggerty pumping the brakes on its annual Detroit Concorde d'Elegance, a celebration of classic and collectible cars that dates back nearly 45 years, and it's weighing its future. Mm. The decision to nix the end-of-summer event in 2024 comes just two years after the Traverse City, Michigan specialty auto insurance company moved it to Detroit in a bid to revive it. I don't know how that would be. <laughs> it also comes after organizers of the Detroit Auto Show moved that event back to its original winter slot. Boy, Organizers yeah. told Crane's Detroit Business, an affiliate of Automotive News on Thursday, that while the Concours is off, the Haggerty-backed Radwood Festival, showcasing 80s and 90s vehicles and culture, will dramatically expand. It's scheduled to take place September 14th at Hart Plaza. Uh, Haggerty has faced some financial difficulties in recent years, although net income improved. Uh, it's in, it hurt and cut 4% of its workforce recently. Uh, another 6% uh, Haggerty cut the staff mm-hmm. again. So uh, they're hurting somehow. Uh-oh. So there's we got that. guys like us selling their cars. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're way off. All right. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to wrap up today's show, the In Wheel Time Carto car show right after this. The original group of Loopy Tortilla Restaurants will have you telling your family and friends just what the original recipes mean when it comes to the best fajitas in Southeast Texas. Founder Stan Holt invites you to visit the original Loopy Tortilla near I-10 and Highway 6. Here's the original house that inspired the design of all the rest and the original charm that helped make Loopy Tortilla the go-to destination for Houston Tex-Mex. Speaking of original, nothing can compete with the original lime pepper marinade that everyone will agree makes Loopy Tortilla award-winning beef fajitas the best anywhere. Loopy Tortilla Katie is another location that gives you the same quality and service Houstonians have come to expect at Loopy's. It's located just off I-10 of the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard in Katie. Find yourself in Aggie Land? Head to the Loopy Tortilla and College Station, located just around the corner from Kyle Field. It's a great place to enjoy those famous frozen margaritas before or after the game. Headed east to Louisiana? Stop in at the Loopy Tortilla in Beaumont. It twos on I-10. You can't miss it. The original group of Loopy Tortilla restaurants invites you in for the best Tex-Mex anywhere. You own a car you love. Well, why not let Gulf Coast Auto Shield protect it? Houstonian John Gray invites you to his state-of-the-art facility to introduce you to his specialist team of auto enthusiasts. We promise you'll be impressed. Whether you're looking to massage your original paint to a like-new appearance, apply a ceramic coating, install a paint protection film, nano-ceramic window tint, or new windshield protection called ExoShield, Gulf Coast Auto Shield is where Houston's car people go. Curbed your wheels? Instead of buying new, why not have them repaired? How about a professionally installed radar detector? Gulf Coast Auto Shield does that, too. Get a peek inside the shop and look at the services offered by getting online and heading to GCAutoShield.com. Better yet, stop by their facility at 11275 South Sam Houston Tollway, just south of the Southwest Freeway, and get a personal tour. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is your place to go for all things exterior. Call them today, 832-930-5655 or GCAutoShield.com. Well, that's it for this week's In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. This is your invitation to follow us on Facebook. Give us a like. Tell your friends about us and share our stuff if you would. We'll keep you posted on all things automotive all week long, including interviews, new car reviews, upcoming events, cruise-ins, racing, manufacturer, and car, truck, and SUV news. We are all things automotive. When you're looking for award-winning car talk, you can find the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show 24-7 via the iHeartRadio app. Daily 30-minute podcasts are available from your favorite streaming provider. We post a new episode every day. And don't forget, we live stream this show on Facebook, YouTube, and InWheelTime.com every Saturday, 8 to 11 a.m. Central Time. The InWheel Time Marketing and Video Technical Director is We Always Need More Jeff Zekin. For booking agent, video editor, piddler extraordinaire, Mr. Mike Out of This World Mars, and Chief Engineer David mm, Ainsley. I'm Don Armstrong. Glad you could join us. We hope you'll join us again next week for another exciting, live, award-winning production of the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. It's next Saturday, April 13th, 8 to 11, on all of our In Wheel Time Car Talk outlets. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. That's it for this podcast episode of the In Wheel Time Car Show. I'm Don Armstrong, inviting you to join us for our live show every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central, on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and our InWheelTime.com website. Podcasts are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeart Podcast, Podcast Addict, TuneIn, Pandora, and Amazon Music. 
Keep listening, and we'll see you soon.